Hey guys, welcome back to Barbara's Queen Avenue Tarot. Um, I've done two readings today, but I've been promising that uh, I was going to do a jewelry uh, re review of the things of my, on my eBay at my eBay store. So um, I pulled a couple of them out that I thought you might be interested in seeing. Um, so um, let's, I'm going to come down here. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try. So this, I don't know how well this is going to work. This piece is old turquoise. It's vintage turquoise. I've had it for years and I remade it. This is the clasp. It's a sterling silver scarab clasp, clasp box clasp actually. This piece is, um, I gotta get, let me get my, let me get, hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, how to get my measuring, my measuring stick. So this piece is, um, everything in here is sterling silver. And all of, the, all of the, and it's also graduated, barely, but it is. Um, these beads are bigger than these beads, but um, also what is graduated is these little spacers, which are star, star shaped, and they are sterling silver. It's got a, this has a really good feeling to it. Um, it's not too tight. I think it's uh, 18 inches long. No, it's 22 inches long. So this necklace hits about like that. I really like it. Especially, I mean, this hand-carved piece of turquoise cabochon. And, um, okay, so let's see. See, scarabs are, um, are they're Egyptian, but they're lucky. And then every piece of my jewelry has a little sterling silver Queens Avenue logo on it. See? It's hard to see it because it's so small, but my little logo is a Q with a crooked crown on top. And I had all these made in a friend of mine. Uh, his wife is from Thailand and her family has a silver thing and silver company and they made them for me. So again, this is a, well, let's see. No, it's actually, it's like a, maybe 21 and a quarter inches long. Um, so this is on my eBay, at my eBay store. And I also want to tell you something about turquoise, especially old turquoise and American turquoise. I mean, you can buy Chinese turquoise or Tibetan turquoise or Iranian or Iraqi and turquoise. The American turquoise is mined out. Um, remember in the 70s, turquoise was everywhere and no, not anymore. Those mines are dried up. There is no more American turquoise. Now, there may be some in Mexico, but, um, but I don't, but these mines dried up, gone. It's all gone. So turquoise has gone through the roof. This piece is, doesn't have a price tag on it, which is kind of unusual. It is probably uh, has a price tag on eBay. And I absolutely love pearls. You probably know that about me by now. This piece doesn't have a, oh yeah it does. This piece does have a price tag on it. Um, I'm not telling you I'm cheap, okay? Okay, so um, this piece is two different kinds of pearls. They are um, potato pearls and stick pearls. It's probably about 25 or 24 inches long. And it's, I should have a different shirt on. It's just supposed to just kind of lay it, oh, or you, it looked good with a turtleneck. This piece is... 23 inches long and between every pearl, and these are these are genuine freshwater pearls 
And the way to tell if some, a pearl is uh, real is rubbing it on your tooth like that. And uh, it should feel sandy, okay? Um, that's, and, okay, so, and then all these little spacer beads are citrine in between every pearl. These are also called Biwa, Biwa pearls. And this is a really pretty lemony gold color. And the clasp is killer, okay? It's a two strand clasp. Again, box clasp. It's floral. Operates like this. I love a box clasp. This piece, if you want to know how much it is, you should. <laughs> Let me, yeah, it, okay, I'm gonna tell you so you know about what price range we're talking about. This piece is $2.99, so. A lot of work goes into something like this and the materials are, you know, they're not, the materials are expensive. I don't, I don't work with, you know, cheap stuff. I want the best for my customers. That would be you. Okay, so this is red jasper, and this is a really cool piece, too. Now, um, this is a three-strand strand piece, and it is really super cool. It is 23 inches long. It's the shortest. The shortest uh, strand is 23 inches long, and the longest strand, because they're graduated, including including the clasp is a uh, 25 but guys get a load of this clasp okay this is and of course i can't read it because i don't have the right glasses on and i probably would need a loop to read it but from what i remember this clasp is indian and it's uh edward the seventh coin from India because he was the emperor of England. So this is a sterling silver clasp, but the coin is a, you know, very old coin and it is um, copper. And then, you know, again, you've got my little logo there. This piece is 230. This is red jasper. Now also, uh, there are these are like the potato shape and but in between each one is um little sterling silver beads and another little piece of red jasper i love jasper i think it's really cool this is this would be great for fall if you enjoy this let me know because i got a lot of I got a lot of this stuff. Um, okay. This is a, uh, also, I love freshwater pearls. This is a little pewter colored freshwater pearl necklace. It's three strands. It has a barrel clasp on it. This one is 225. I don't remember because I made these a long time ago. I mean, I sell them, you know, once in a while. They, Got it crooked. Let's see, I got it crooked. There. That's how it lays. This piece, the shortest piece, is 18 inches. And, and the longest, the longest uh, strand is oh, about 22. So it's got, you know, probably ought to go to change close so you can see um, how this hangs. So this clasp is sterling silver also. Cause I don't work with that other stuff. I mean, you know, I'll work with gold, of course, but I don't want, I don't want to work with cheap stuff. If I'm going to sell something, if I'm going to take the time to make something, I mean, this takes a day to make, you know, all day. This is a barrel clasp, see? 
It's three strands. It's got my little logo on it, and it works like this. Let's see. This one, did I tell you how much it was? $2.25. It, it lays really nicely on the neck. I have, to, I have them all numbered and in little bags. And because they're uh, sterling silver, I don't want them to tarnish. So I have little pieces of, uh, you know, the little pieces of the black anti-tarnish papers in, in there. So, oh God, this one's cool. This is, I, and I love kyanite. This is so pretty. This is kyanite. It's such a pretty color. This piece is, the shortest one is like 20 inches. And then there's a little, one that's probably, is, it's a little bit longer. You know, maybe 21 inches, so there's a little bit of a drop. You know, but look at this clasp, it's so cool. It's a toggle. And it's sterling silver. And again, it's got my little logo on it. Really pretty little artisan made sterling silver clasp with the little leaf on it here too. Looks like that. And there's the 925 thing. Cause see sterling silver is actually 9.25 pure silver. The rest is additives to keep it strong. Pure silver is 99.9 .9, and it's very, it's soft. So I like that piece too. I haven't looked at these in a long time. I have a bunch of them too. Okay, so this is, this is like turquoise, turquoise hishi beads. And it is, been in that bag for a while. Three strands. Let me see, it's kind of twisted up here. A little heishi beads. Okay. And it has this awesome little box clasp on it. And I get my box clasp, I get my box clasp from, um, well, I order them and they tell them what they want and they make them for me. This beautiful piece of turquoise here. It's kind of green, but the beads are small. And then, um, you know, these are also turquoise, but they're pretty. They're a lot, they're kind of a greenish blue, which I like. It's fine. This piece is um, 275. Again, remember turquoise, no more. And so when, when you can buy it, it's expensive. Go on Etsy and look at real turquoise and see, uh, See what it goes for. It's very expensive to buy. Strands of beads of turquoise. So this piece is cool. I'm going to do another video like this and then the next time I'm going to put on a shirt so you can that you can tell what it looks like. But this piece is picture jasper and this is American an American uh, stone. There are different jaspers from all over the world but this one is from um, the southwest. Pretty tan, you know, tan colors. A, this is a fan necklace. Get that out of the way. And it has a an, another little sterling silver leaf, leaf clasp on it. It's like a, a leaf on a leaf. It's a, a, it's again a toggle. And it has a. My little logo. Now this piece is, um, like I said, it's a fan necklace and it's separated. Each piece is separated by um, another little, I think that's probably a six millimeter picture jasper bead with sterling silver spacers. So 
I don't scrimp when I make my stuff. And you know, eventually they sell. So, you know, they don't all sell all at once, but um, they sell. So, I'm happy. People love my stuff. I've sent stuff all over the world, too. So, this is carnelian, and I, it's so pretty. Look at that. I don't have a price tag on this, it's, but it's probably on Etsy. It has a filigree sterling silver box clasp. It has end caps that are sterling silver and little beads here that are sterling silver. There is a larger stone on one side and, a, you know, there's two different size stones here. So, um, but this box clasp, you know, it's, you can tell the size of it, you know, by, you know, Here's the size of my finger. It's not a little bitty tiny clasp. It's something that you can, you know, wear this way and it looks good. So this piece doesn't have a price on it. I don't know why. Oh, wait. 140. This piece, hmm. Fauceted Adventuring. I think, yeah. This is a toggle, a toggle clasp. See, in this, I, I, I put these uh, little tags on here so that when you have it on, now I'm right-handed, so I put it on so that, I put all of these on so that I hold this part in my hand and this is the little toggle part that goes through here. So when you have it, I'll put it on. I haven't shown it to you yet, so obviously. When you put it on, the little cue it hangs down. So this is... The beads are fauceted. I don't know if you can see that. And in between each bead is a square sterling silver spacer. So it's different, but it's pretty. And the pendant is also on a sterling silver. Two stamped, these are handmade sterling silver beads. God, I wish you could see them better. Anyway, they're hand stamped in kind of a Greek key um, motif. And then, um, you know, the bail is sterling silver and the the pendant is, is also sterling silver. It's marked here, 925. I didn't obviously make the pendant, but I did buy it and put all this together. This piece is 250. Great fall color. Okay, um, I mean, I've cut a lot of this stuff. And here is a pearl necklace. This is really pretty. This would be a pretty pearl necklace for um, like a, a wedding necklace or um, mother of the bride kind of thing. I mean, these aren't pieces that you, you know, that you just, um, this, is, this is some, this is, you know, these are little, these are my little treasures. I'm trying to get it, uh, okay. So these are little pink freshwater pearls. And they're not showing up very well. But they're kind of a, they're a peachy pink color. Um, I'm trying to get something that they will stand out against. How about my blue shirt? And the, look at the clasp, you guys. Freshwater pearl, sterling silver. Everything's, you know, it's got sterling silver. Everything's sterling silver. The little, the little uh, jump rings. This doesn't have any spacers between it. And normally when you uh, make a pearl necklace, uh, there are knots between each one, but I don't do that. And the reason why is because this isn't on string. This is on a wire. 
and it's a really um, it's a really heavy duty wire and all of my um, all of my pieces have uh, you know multiple um, crimps on them so it's not just one crimp it's not just if one crimp breaks your pearls go everywhere no there's multiple crimps on these so this one is gorgeous so it's um probably 19 or 20. no 20 i don't know yeah tw about 20 20 um about 20 and a half inches long and this this one um you know there's like a little these are smaller but then there's like a little pattern here these are called potato shape i love these oh this one is um 190. all right let's see what else do i have over here oh this is cool. This is what this was really cool. It needs to be, have, you know, I need to polish the silver on it, but it is very cool. This is opal. Let me see here. Let me get it turned the right way. I love this. These are opals. And here's the little, it's a little jump S clasp, I guess you can call it. You know, so it's it's a little hard to get on, but that's what you want because you don't want it to break. See, it's um, five strands. There's a lot of sterling silver in between every bead, sterling silver. And the creme de la creme is dependent on this. This is picture Jasper look at that I love it I love picture Jasper and the pendant is about well including the veil about two inches long and this necklace is 23 and it is $325. I mean, you guys, uh, you know, this is what I do to, you know, earn a living. So, um, I mean, I don't, I don't work outside the home. This is my job, or one of my jobs. So, um, anyway, if you want to see more of this, let me know. And um, I will, uh, I'll do more. If you don't. That's okay too. My eBay uh, store is also called Queens Avenue. Okay. And um, so if you want to go, this is all on there. If you want to go uh, see that stuff or if you have any questions or, you know, you want to ask me anything, just, you know, ask away. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you so much. And um, Johnny, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye. Oh, hit the, su su uh, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, uh, comment. Um, Murphy's into something over there. Look at that cat. She is always into something. Anyway, uh, hit the bell. You'll know when I'm coming back. Thanks so much. Bye.